Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to be doing a review play, which is, uh, if you're unfamiliar, it's kind of a combination of review of the game and gameplay. Uh, this is going to be a one credit run of Spolus, or Spolus, not sure how to pronounce it, um, but uh, recently it just released. It's a free indie shmup, and I will leave a link where you can uh, play it either in your browser or uh, download it. Uh, there's an exe file you can download and uh, play it at home. So uh, hopefully you enjoy this. Um, if you download it and try it out, please do let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Um, but anyway, uh, you'll see it's heavily inspired by the Nemesis slash Gradius Gradius series of games. And um, I think it uh, I think it takes off of uh, Gradius Rebirth where it tells you what level power up you're on. So if you, if you notice my speed up icon right now, it says speed up three, which means I've already used two speed ups. So that's that's where I usually like to keep it. Um, but I do appreciate knowing what level speed I'm at. Similar to all the Gradius games, there is a out in space section before you get to the main part of the level. And uh, this this game is no exception. It's very, very heavily influenced by, by Gradius. So in this run, I'm uh, using loadout C3. Um, there's a few uh, different ones that you can start with. There's three different uh, weapon uh, selections you have that you can pick from when you uh, first get the game. And there's many more you can unlock. Um, and I'll, uh, I think there's, I wanna say there's close to 10. Um, but anyway, when you beat the game, you get uh, points that you uh, can use to unlock uh, those weapon loadouts. This is also on the normal default difficulty. After beating this difficulty the first time, uh, it unlocked a hard mode for this route, which is Route A or Path A. At least in this current build, which is version 1.03, there was uh, three different paths, A, B, or C, and they all had, uh, the, the uh, A path had six levels, and uh, there was one more, uh, level in the B path, so seven, and then eight levels for the C path. All right, so this run, um, I am uh, kind of purposefully didn't want to record a no death run, because I wanted to show you how recoveries are done in this game. Um, my earlier one of my earlier runs was uh, was a no death run or, or one death run but in this uh, in this game I think I take two or three deaths and I wanted to show you that recoveries are uh, done really really interestingly in this game and I wanted to kind of show that off anyway we're at the first boss which is an obvious inspiration to the big core mark one. Oh, and uh, in case you didn't notice my uh, my options you, you can uh, there's a third button uh, in the game where you can manipulate your options or multiples so the, um, the third button either holds them in place or spreads them out depending on your uh, on what your loadout is but um, the uh, the button layouts are it's really similar it's just a uh, one button for shot one button to uh, power up your uh, bar on the bottom whatever selector you're on and the third one is to um, use your multiple uh, either lock it in place or spread it out Also, shield is very, very powerful in this game. I think you get a total of five hits um, on your shield. So it's uh, definitely better than uh, like the three hits you normally get. So now we're at three multiples. Getting pretty well powered up here. One thing I did want to point out, if uh, if you notice past the uh, to the right of where the shield um, power up is, um, there's a uh, five dollars written in the written the bottom right there. So that's uh, basically a uh, bonus point multiplier. If you pick up a power up past shield, you're going to get five thousand points, and that goes up every time you pick up another uh, power up after the uh, the bottom one or after the last one. 
And this run I kind of went for more of those than I did. I uh, wasn't uh, playing as safely. I wanted to try to collect as many uh, power-up pickups and, and roll over that power-up uh, pickup as many times as I could to maximize score just to see what I could do. It's a definitely uh, it's a welcome scoring mechanic because you're giving up your backup shield in order to uh, apply that to more score, but it adds up really quickly. Once you uh, once you get that 5,000, the next one's 10,000 and so on, it keeps on going up by 5,000. And there's the first extra life at 100,000. The uh, extends are given out in this game at 100,000, 500,000, and a million. And I haven't scored higher, too much higher than a million. I don't know if it's possible in any other routes, but uh, that's what the extends I've gotten so far are. Just a different themed uh, big core here, where you can kind of shoot diagonal shots that home in on you better. level. So as you can tell the laser is very very powerful in this loadout. Um, I don't think I fully power it up because you'll see pretty soon I switch to the double shot which uh, for this uh, weapon loadout is a behind shot. Which is very very useful in the, in the upcoming uh, levels. So now I've got a behind shot. And uh, that was an action, actually an accident there. I switched back to laser, but the the switching to laser when we right back to laser two, so you don't have to start over again if you uh, want to go back. Like if I want to go back to laser after getting behind the uh, double shot, I jump straight back to the laser already at level two. So now we're at double level two, which I think is just a faster shot. The uh, Easter Island heads, very, uh, very uh, much an homage to uh, the Gradius stages. Instead of rings, though, they have cubes, obviously. I kind of like it. They're, they have a cool effect when they blow up. Alright, there's the second uh, power-up bonus. So it's, uh, now it's up to 15k for uh, the next one. There, I'm just leaving the options in place to uh, take out, take some more uh, damage from the boss there. So if you notice, there's the uh, time limit bar on the upper right corner there. I have not timed out a boss. I don't know if it uh, does anything detrimental to you or if it just uh, flies away and you get no points. I haven't tested that yet. So if anyone finds out, just post up in the comments and let us all know.
Alright, so in this level you can tell there's going to be obvious references to level 4 of uh, Gradius, the original. With a couple changes, obviously. One thing I do wish is that there was a way to tell how many uh, hits you have left in your shield, um, not based on your color. Cause my uh, my older eyes can't tell a couple of the colors from, uh, from apart from each other that easily. So if there's either a counter on the power-up bar or um, just a, maybe a reduction in the size of the shield around you, that would be helpful to me. I'm purposely tanking some hits on my shield there to, to re refresh it there. And then I got hit anyway. I do really also enjoy the soundtrack. Uh, definitely more modern, a little more uh, electronic, but uh, I do like it a lot. shield. Had that one ready to go. So this is uh, obviously a uh, reference to uh, Nemesis level uh, 5, I believe. Um, except I'm leaving the, uh, the options in place where I can go uh, kind of milk the, the pod that's coming directly above there. So there's another design choice that I, uh, I really like, and uh, if you notice, right before bosses, there's usually a, a short space section that has uh, some of these power-up dropping enemies. And I think that's to avoid, at least uh, to me, it, it feels like it's there to avoid getting to a boss with just like the pea shooter and no speed up. So it's, you'll always at least have like a, a laser or an option or something. So you're not going to run into a boss without, uh, without any power-ups. And uh, I do like that a lot. Alright, next, uh, next level here. It's uh, pretty hefty bonuses now we're getting for the power-up wraparound, 25k. Also, I really do appreciate the arrows warning you when uh, enemies are coming in from off-screen. Um, there's very, very few op uh, places in this game where you're going to get just rammed by an enemy that, that you didn't see coming. And um, I, th I personally like that design decision. Less, less memorization heavy and more reaction based is uh, in some ways more fun for me. So right here there's going to be a guy approaching from directly on the top left of the screen that you're not warned about. So the first time I played the game that was uh, one of the things that 
that, that little arm that just reached out to the screen like I was caught off guard by him, but it's one of the few places where the game can catch you off guard and not warn you. Very Life Force-esque background with the uh, Gradius uh, arm enemies. I do appreciate the visual indicator when an enemy is being damaged as well. Um, there's some some games I run into, like 16-bit era especially, where you have no idea if you're damaging an enemy or not, or it's very hard to tell, and that I do appreciate. So I'm trying to refresh my shield here. There we go. And those of you who played Life Force, you know that these uh, where these come from. These are regenerating. Uh, kind of organic barriers there that grow back after a couple seconds. So one thing I noticed, uh, this boss coming up here, is that there's a very, very long boss timer. So I think the game is basically telling you, yeah, it's, o go it's okay, go ahead and try to milk some points here at this boss. So I could have definitely stayed here much longer and uh, tried to rack up some more points. But you'll see how slow this timer goes down. I don't even think I got uh, half the timer down before before that boss went down, so as you can see, it could have been uh, milked for a lot more points there. Alright, so we're on to level 6, which is the final level on this route, on this path A. Hefty 50k bonus there. Now we're getting up there in points. So like I said in this run, this run is not a no death slash no miss run. I did uh, want to show how a recovery would work. Um, but the uh, the run I had recorded before this was uh, either no death or one death. But uh, it was much lower scoring because I wasn't being as uh, risky with picking up the uh, power-ups. Or wrapping around the power-ups uh, to the next... Uh, to the next bonus. So this is a normal difficulty, like I said. Um, I, I am curious as to if the warning indicators for behind enemies are uh, taken out for harder difficulties, and you just kind of have to memorize that type of thing. I'm, I'm uh, backing myself into the corner here. There's, uh, I don't think, any way to get out of that. But as you can see, uh, my options are there for me to still pick up and uh, detonated like a screen clearing bomb when I uh, respawn there. So there's uh, two deaths back to back and I'm uh, as soon as I get a speed up here 
Or actually, I already had speed up. So now I'm basically good to go. Like, I can... I can work with just one speed up so I get another one. I have the behind shot. I've got two options that I picked up from where I died. Uh, the game did rank down. I don't know if you can tell, but the bullets are much less frequent. So there is definitely a rank or adaptive difficulty going on. Alright, so that's another death. And got both options back. Got double shot back, got two speed ups, and uh, now we're good to go. One thing I did notice with the default rate of fire is that uh, it, it definitely fires quicker if you're closer to your target, which is, I think, kind of standard. The default rate of fire is fine if, if you're right next to your opponent. It's it's pretty quick, actually. You can see the difference there. My option didn't have a, a target rate on it, but my... Uh, or my, my main ship didn't have a target rate on it, but my option did, and you can see how fast it was firing. bunch of power-ups here uh, right before the end, and I'll, and I'll uh, explain why this is a very smart decision. Um, so we're at the final boss. That uh, gate closing there is obvious uh, Gradius homage. I kind of feel bad this turtle is not really uh, fighting back here. Just testing to see if I can hit his feet or his his uh, hands there or anything, but no, there's just the one target. And uh, there was another extend there at a million points. Um, but uh, there is a brief escape sequence, and this kind of is very—I think it's reminiscent of uh, Scramble, of the second to last level of Scramble. If if, uh, if you know how that goes, there's uh, some tight quarters you have to weave through. Um, but without any speed ups, this would be pretty hard. But, but they do give you a good amount of power ups before you get into that final boss chamber, so uh, that's what they're there for, and I think that's a really smart thing to do, is not, not force a death upon a player at that point. Alright, so we got the uh, ending video I was going to play here, and I'll give some final thoughts while this is going. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. I like the graphic style, I like the gameplay. It, the gameplay is very, very responsive and easy to get into. I think I beat it the second or third time I played it, but like I said, that was on the A route on normal difficulty, and there's plenty of other routes to play, and there's the harder difficulty that you unlock. Uh, once I beat the A route, it unlocked a hard difficulty for A route. So um, there's going to be plenty more to do. And there's also different weapon loadouts you can use with your uh, points you get from beating the game. Your uh, points get uh, tallied up, and uh, you'll see at the end that you can uh, use... I think I have three or 4,000 points, and I think it was... 3,000 points for the next weapon loadout, so I think I can buy that one next. Um, and I think there's close to 10 different weapon loadouts, um, so many more than than uh, Gradius 3 or 4 even. I didn't notice if there was an edit, but uh, that'd be kind of cool if there was, similar to Gradius 3. I do really enjoy the sound effects. I like that there's damage indicators. If your shield gets damaged, when uh, enemies get damaged, there's sound effects. Um, Overall, I'm very, very impressed by this game. Um, this is being played on version 1.03. In case it changes, uh, you, you notice the game is different. That's That could be why. Um, but if you're uh, looking to try it out yourself, I'm going to leave a link down below, and uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy it yourself. And please let me know if you download it and what you thought. So those credits at 4134 there, that's uh, what I have to buy new weapon loadouts. So I broke a million points in that run. Um, that 817, 890 was a no-death run, but uh, I wasn't as uh, pressing for points in that run, so not quite as good. So I'm going to leave it here and let the uh, intro play. 
to uh, take us out. Um, you can. I, I'm pretty sure this is not made by a native English speaker. There's some grammatical errors and some other errors, but nothing that takes away from the enjoyment. It's uh, definitely an enjoyable game, and uh, I very much am looking forward to either the next uh, game this dev puts out, or if they update this one, I'm going to keep playing this one for a bit. But that's uh, Spolus. Spolus. I'm not, uh, not sure on the pronunciation, but I hope you all enjoyed this. This has been Pete Hahn, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.